Uh, yes, guys, the time is now. It is this the moment to start playing Star Citizen. I'm not joking. This is really the best moment to start playing Star Citizen if you want to play Star Citizen. Now, shouldn't be a surprise. I am quite critical of the things that are not working in this game, project, tech demo, whatever you want to call it. I also play it, so I can understand why someone else would want to play it, okay? So hold your horses, don't start crying like a lunatic, right? It is perfectly understandable that you may want to play it, or not. If you're fed up, you don't see the point of this anymore, I certainly understand that, because this man right here is ha is not doing what you would have expected him to do, and especially in terms of creating new content. But Enough of that, I cover this all the time in the video, this in the channel, this video is going to be about advice for people that want to start playing Star Citizen. Oh, you're such a shill, you motherfucker. No, I'm not. If you want to play, I've been saying this for years now, if you want to play, be my guest. In fact, if you want to play, use my referral code, which I would appreciate. I mean, at this point, there's really not, do whatever you want to do. If you want to start playing, certainly give it a shot and yeah the referral code um will give you especially now uh the referral code gives you a, a free vehicle it's a hoover quad which is not really bad at all we'll get into that in a second but in a nutshell this is the moment in which you want to buy your first game package slash ship because it's gonna be on sale right now so don't buy the zeus ms RSI, don't buy any of that crap, follow my advice, and if you appreciate the contents that I try to do here, bring the honesty, both the good and the bad, then by all means, subscribe to the channel. So, you've decided to, you know what, <laughs> I want to still play this thing. Well, this is the moment in which you play this thing, because this is the moment in which you find proper um, sales so as to not have an inflated price. What I mean by that is, right now, they are in the sale period and they offer a game package that is quite nice. This is the ship I've always said I would pick, pick as my starter ship, as my, you know, the, the one to get, and it is the Aurora MR. If you use a referral, it comes with that thing. It comes... This thing, you get it, not the paint, but the Hoover Quad, you get it for free by using the referral. Don't buy this, you can buy it in-game. So, don't be an idiot in terms of using your money. Let's go to the actual starter packs. Where the hell is this thing now? God damn it. More info. Let's go to the starter packs, because I checked this one out. No, not this crap. Where is it? Okay, ship game package. They, they just rearrange things in the weirdest possible ways it just blows my mind here we go so this is what i'm talking about you want to start playing star citizen right now is when you start playing star citizen because for 56 bucks for 56 bucks you get a very nice pack and a very nice deal what is it that you get here well again first of all if you want to start playing this is the cheapest time to start playing if you want to start playing, use the referral code that you have mine there below because that gives you the Hoover card for free and it stays as a ship in your permanent hangar, which I'll explain a thing or two about that in a second. But first of all, for 56 bucks, you buy the game. This it has to be a game package, not a standalone ship. Standalone sex. None of these are things are worth a damn. Just focus on this one. This is where it's at. 56 bucks. What is it that you get? Well, you get the Avenger Titan, which used to be a kick-ass ship. Now things have gone downhill a lot, as you see me complain all the time. So the game is not what it used to be. It's not nearly as much fun as it used to be. You could have a world of fun with this thing back in the day. Now it's been nerfed quite a bit. Guns are still okay. You have two size threes and one size four in the nose, so it's still okay. But also you get the Arden SL Armor. The Archangel armor. So you get the armor, the complete set helmet, arms, body, the toward the core, legs, and you get a gun. Oh, and the backpack. You get the backpack and the gun. So you basically get the entire suit plus uh, a paint. I think you get a paint. Yeah. You get the iron weave paint. That is nice. That is actually very nice. Iron weave? Okay, that's 
That is even nicer than I thought. So you get the Iron Weave paint, which is a very good looking paint, and you get the full set of armor, and you have 24 months insurance. The 24 months insurance things, don't even bother with it, don't even think about it, it's not a big deal. What is the big deal is this armor set that you get. Let me go show you the nicer pick here, because there is something to be said there. Okay, so we don't have a picture here. Let's go to the shop, back to the pledge store. Anyway, the Arden suit of armor is nice. Now, the thing is, with these armor suits, there you go. That is the armor suit that I'm talking about. That's the gun we're talking about. And this is not the shitty paint that I thought you get. No, you get the iron weave paint, which they're not even showing here, but that's what it says it is, so I don't doubt it. So you get the iron weave paint. And by all means, that's the one you have. Uh, there it is. I think this is the Iron Weave paint. So it is a very nice deal for 56 bucks. That's what I would get. For 56 bucks, you have a solid setup with the armor, gun, and so on. Now, you have to know that the armor, it really means very little because you will immediately lose it. And you have, up until now, no way of claiming this suit of armor. You will lose it, and you don't have no way of claiming that armor back. So far, eventually they should have something, some way of getting it back. But the counter-argument to that is that given that this new update is so shitty, you will have several days from now on the following weeks in which you will get frequent updates in which that set of armor will be returned to your account. So, especially as a new player, you will get second, third, and fourth chances to recover that armor when you lose it eh, because the new patch is going to be very bad. That's basically why I would start playing right now with that pack if I want to give this thing a shot, which I, I would. I'm playing it right now, so why, why would I lie about, yeah, that's where I am. I wouldn't spend money beyond that. I think that if you spend money beyond that, you're a damn idiot, but hey, that's just my take. If you want to spend $1,000 or whatnot, go do whatever. Right, Be as stupid as you want to be. But the other final thing that I want to say is that if you get it with a referral, you get the Hoover Quad. The Hoover Quad is this thing right there. The Hoover Quad is worth in-game 30 bucks. So you know, because using the referral, you have two ships. One is a Titan, the other one is a Hoover Quad. You could use it. I think it does fit, if I remember correctly. Now, personally, if I'm doing this bullshit, I would probably throw a couple bucks and get a second ship. That way you have two ships. Not just one, you have two ships. Now, this you get it by CCU, by getting an upgrade. Chassis upgrade, that's what CCU is. So the chassis upgrade is basically upgrading your existing ship. You can upgrade the Avenger Titan, which I wouldn't, just keep that thing as it is. I would probably upgrade this thing because it's super cheap in game. You can buy it in game for very little. What you will not be able to buy for very little is an actual ship in game. And that's where you probably want to go and say, hey, I'm saving by buying now 56 bucks with a discount. I get this thing. So I could drop maybe 10, 20 bucks. I don't know. That's I wouldn't spend more than 100 bucks, right? So you have already 56 on. So what? 30. How high would you go? Man. Shit, it is, it is really not worth it. It's just not worth it. How much would you spend? I mean, this is a Titan, the Titan that you just bought, that's worth, the Titan you bought is worth 60 bucks, but you have it with a discount, and you have this thing for free. So you could put money on top and get what? Uh, a ship, the, the 300i, not worth it. You have the Titan that's already better. All of these vehicles, none of this is worth it. The the, the cutter is nice. It's a pretty little rust bucket. So if you like the role-playing aspect, this is cool to have. And you can get a, a tiny vehicle in this thing. The Avenger Titan is a lot better. But just by putting 20 bucks on top of these 30, you can get this. So you would have the Avenger Titan and you would have the cutter. This is another one that I like a lot. The 100i. I would avoid the Ursa. All of these are available in game. None of these is worth. This is the medical of this one is definitely worth it. That would be probably uh, fuck. Should I advise that or not? I mean, you want to go this way? This is what I would do. I would get the Avenger Titan. I would use a referral Hoover Quad. I would get myself the Pisces. Check. First, you're not, you're in no hurry. You already gave them 56 bucks. 
money that they will not put into making the game any better. You are at the stage it is, and there's nothing that indicates new content will be added, new significant content will be added anytime soon. So don't make shit worse by giving them more money, incentivizing them to do even less and focus on ship sales. Having said all of that, none of this, fuck, it is just no. It's just a big no in general. I would just get the, I would check. I would start playing, and if after some time you decide, hey, I want to upgrade this into that, 135 you were uh, I liked or this other ship that I think it's cool play a while you have this thing already no one's gonna take that away from you this is staying there in your permanent hangar but you know that you have 30 bucks already in there honestly I would I like the C8R I like it because it has a medical bed in which you can respawn that's cool for doing FPS shooting when you die you're not respawning your in in the in the city or in the Space station, you respawn in that medical bed. That is a cool thing. Someone in the comments said, C8, C8R is the only thing I fly. It's the only thing I need. And I cannot, I can't disagree with that. It really is that solid in terms of, it's a tiny ship, goes everywhere, and it respawns. Guys, that is the advice. The no shilling, no bullshitting advice, given the state in which the game obviously is, with all of its issues, all of its flaws. But hey, if you want to start playing, this is what I would do. That's my advice. See you later. Take care.